I know sometimes I get repetitive here in posting things and I, I don't want to bore you all, but uh, I put my goslings out. The one that I had in the incubator that was trying to hatch unfortunately passed. Uh, so I've got five of them here and I have another one in another incubator who's internally pipped. So I'll have six of them if that one makes it. And then I have another four eggs that are um, vital, vital, uh, yeah, fertile. Um, and are probably gonna hatch in the next 10 days or so. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to show you these little cuties. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna look at them. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I suspect they are at the end based on what I'm, what I'm, what I'm seeing. So my average viewership seems to be about three minutes of engagement time. So we're going to stop there and I'm going to explain to you what I believe these are uh, after kind of sitting here just looking at them. So we have this one here, which if you look at the feet, if it holds still, if you look at the feet, they're orange and the bill is kind of a dark color. So, to me, uh, this one is either an American buff or a pilgrim male. Uh, pilgrim males usually come out uh, bright yellow like this on the, on the feathering with a darker beak and orange feet. So 
So it's no difference. Uh, if he is a pilgrim male, I will grow him up and he will be one of my pilgrim ganders. So we'll put him to the side. <clears throat> then I have here what I believe to be a pilgrim female. Uh, this one looks a lot like Reggie did when she was a little, little uh, gosling. And you can see by the dark olive bill and the dark feet that um, it has characteristics. And, uh, you, you know, you guys don't know this, but I haven't bred them and raised them. It has characteristics of a pilgrim female. Uh, the feet coloring and the feet coloring are, are black. Now, I can say for sure that this one is a crossbreed between an American buff and a pilgrim, but it is definitely a female based on the characteristics of the beak and feet. So the beak is dark, like a pilgrim female, but if you look at the feet, they're half orange and half black. See that? And what are we doing? Napping? Playing dead? So this is definitely a cross. And then this one, this guy here. So this is most definitely a pilgrim, sorry, American buff male. Um, or female. I mean, it's, it's, sorry, just an American buff. What am I smoking today? Uh, so this is definitely an American buff. There's, there's really no question about it based on the uh, coloration of the beak, the feathers, the feet, uh, the shape of the head. So that's an American buff. And I think I already grabbed this guy, but the same thing, another American buff. Um, usually the, the American buffs kind of have lighter wing tips. Um, so, and that's fine. More American buffs, more better but I'd really like for this one here to be a pilgrim female and one of these to be a pilgrim male. Uh, I know this is a crossbreed and that's okay. People uh, oftentimes just want a, uh, a goose or a gander or whatever to protect their chickens. And uh, crossbreeds like this are pretty and they do just fine uh, protecting chickens. So, they still sell, it's not a problem. And they're still just as friendly. I mean, I'm breeding, I'm, I'm essentially crossing two of the most friendly breeds that I can cross, uh, American Buff and Pilgrim Geese. So, they are very friendly even when they're older, uh, as crosses. And I'm sure some of you have seen my video on Reggie. She lets me put her hand right underneath of her and grab eggs, unlike other geese. Uh, who will happily tear your face off given the chance. So, all right. Well, eight minutes now. I think I've done enough talking. So, uh, see you. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed looking at this little cutie right here. And uh, I'll talk to you later.